most of the kids, when we meet them for the first time, they're either sleeping in their parents' bed or their parents are sleeping with them. They're scared. Um, yeah, we had one little guy who said he couldn't sleep in his bedroom alone. He was afraid he was going to die. That just brought me to tears. And um, so we uh, we made him a super cool Lego room. And he said, see you, mom. And I slept in his Lego bed every night after that. Welcome to Sidewalk Talk. I'm Steve Fortunato. Today, uh, in this episode, we're, we're discussing special spaces. And we're joined by the chapter director of the Special Spaces of Buffalo, um, Lynn Wall. And um, Special Spaces builds dream rooms for kids with cancer. Is that the easiest way to describe it, Lynn? That, that would be. That would be it in a nutshell, yes. Yeah. So how did it come about? Tell me about your story and um, how you uh, became associated with Special Spaces of Buffalo. Uh, about 11 years ago, I was watching uh, one of the first episodes of Secret Millionaire on TV. And uh, there was a woman down, if you've never seen that show, and I don't, I don't think it's still on the air, um, a, a person who has money or a, you know, a wealthy person goes into um, impoverished neighborhoods and they uh, pretend that they're doing um, a video on volunteerism and they work with these different um, charities and uh, different nonprofits and they, they, um, let them think that they're just helping out and filming and all that. And at the end of the week, they reveal themselves to be a millionaire and they write a big check for the, for the charity that, that they've been working with. Anyway, um, there was a woman down in Knoxville, Tennessee, Jennifer Swain, who was doing a um, bedroom makeover for a five-year-old who had cancer. And um, it was just, I was just overwhelmed watching it. It was such a simple thing. It made such a difference in not only that child, but in the entire family. They uh, sent him out for the day, shopping for the day, got him out of the house. And and Jennifer and her volunteers and, and even her kids were helping. And they rolled some paint and they bought some new bedding and put some new curtains up. And it just had such an impact on the family that, um, you know, once I was done drying my eyes and um I reached out to uh, some of my friends, my lifelong friends. I went, you guys got to see this. This is incredible. And um, yeah, three months later, we were up and running uh, and um, started a chapter here in Buffalo. And since then, I believe we just finished our 117th bedroom makeover. That was in 11 years. I compare it to... Um like those home makeover shows, right? They send the family away and then they come back and the yeah. neighborhood uh, uh, re redid their home. And, and this is the same idea, but it's the kid's bedroom and it's, it's, the child. It's still just just their right. bedroom. Yeah, yeah, it's the the place that you know they, these kids spend so much time in the hospital and doctor's offices and getting procedures and all that stuff. When they come home, it should just be their own very special space, one that they feel comfortable in, that they can and heal and relax or play or just be a kid and not think about all the challenges of, of, of cancer. So, yeah, when I, I'm going to try something here for, if you happen to be watching on YouTube, if not, then you won't see this. Um, I'm going to go to the special spaces uh, of Buffalo Facebook page. So we are looking at that right now um yeah that header is just a bunch of uh the rooms yeah that we've done what past. you guys do it's really beautiful it's um <laughs> it's 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 heart-wrenching and yet fulfilling i don't know at the same time yeah um, that's that's pretty much it yeah we we cry a lot we laugh a lot um these these kids these families just go through so much i i can't even imagine and i i have been blessed to have healthy children Children. My children are adults now and they, they help out with the bedroom makeovers as well. But just uh, I, I stay close with a lot of the parents, uh, either through social media or in person. And the stuff that they that they go through every day is just incredible. So if I'm just absolutely happy to do this for a family, um, like I said, it brings me joy. It brings all our volunteers. All our rooms are done by volunteers, by the way. So these people see these videos and they just sign up and go, you know what? I, I want to do that too. It's definitely a, a feel good. It's a lot of hard work too, but it's definitely a feel good project for sure. Yeah. As, uh, as we scan through Facebook right now, 
we're looking at uh, Kinsey's big reveal. Um, so what happens then is that the child, you guys are connected to a child and then they describe like we had one or we uh, were out watching one I don't back in May with Maya. I wonder if I can find mm -hmm. Maya. Here. You can tell we had a meat raffle. There's, yeah, you had a, there's a million raffle. posts about that trying to get everybody to show up for it. Um, but, as you see, um, if you go to the our Facebook first kid, page, by the way, if you scroll up, I don't know if you can see that. That's no nope, back down down here. Yeah, that one right oh. there. That's me with Donovan. He was our first makeover oh, kid look at that. back 11 years ago when he was five. And he came to our golf tournament this year. And he's like almost 16 years old. That's awesome. <laughs> I saw it is wonderful. wonderful. There is one, uh, a Mason Schrantz. I don't know if, uh, I don't think I'm oh, yeah. going to quickly Mason. find him here. But I know that uh, he was a few years ago, you, you, you did his room. I believe I read that he was into a, in the stage it was it was his cancer wasn't well no cancer is good but it was deep and um mm -hmm. and then uh he's battled and battled and then the bills found out about it or and he always wanted to play football i mean they literally signed him to a, a one-day contract yeah he had a one-day awesome. deal with the bills it was so cool i don't know I don't know how that came about, but yes, we did a, we did a sports themed room for him. We painted a soccer field on his wall and, uh, and uh, yeah, he just, uh, yeah, we've got so many pictures. I try to post all the time because people want to see what we're doing. And, and yeah, I, I post the kids anniversaries on there. And um, this was a, a video we had, we had done with um, Northwestern Mutual. They sponsored a room and they came in and filmed the whole thing. And that was that was wonderful. She, this little kid, but she was a trip. This Shay, she wanted everything fluffy, unicorns and um, anything comfy and fluffy. And so we made her a sky in the cloud, <laughs> a bed in the clouds. And uh, it was hilarious. My favorite part at the end was not only her seeing her room for the first time, but her quote was, um, dad might as well go ahead and ground me because I'm staying in my room all day anyway. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, yeah. So if you go to to Facebook and uh, you check out space, special spaces Buffalo, be prepared. Uh, it's it is like we said before. I mean, it, it's gut wrenching. Um, you really feel obviously for these kids. Uh, a child is sick. It's and the families and what they're going through. But for this this group to go ahead and supply this special space for these children. Um, and the videos you have are just, are great because what you do is you, a lot of times you see the before, but what the beauty is the big reveal when the child enters the, the room, the bedroom of his or her dream, it is, it is really cool. And it must, that must be just so gratifying for you to see these hundred plus kids get these rooms. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, first of all, I can't believe it's been that long and that mm -hmm. many, uh, like I said, we, we make friends with all these, these families and, uh, see the, the stuff that these kids there's, there's, there he is Mason well, on, on YouTube right now. We're watching there's Mason and he, he is an honorary captain for the day. I mean, they went all out with this guy, which was just, I mean, literally signed him into a one day contract and, um, you know, he got to meet all the guys and Josh and then, uh, he went and did a team meeting. I know that um, mm. his dad seems like such a good guy, but you could see, you know, in your video, you can see how, you know, just how much he loves the kid and how difficult it is, it is for him and how appreciative they are of, of, well, in this situation with the bills and how appreciative they were in, in what you guys did uh, for him a, a few years ago as well. How, yeah. So you mentioned the one room, um that was i can't remember the sponsor for the day um it was a, uh, oh, you know, northwestern mutual. northwestern mutual yeah so talk about that you know as people say okay special spaces buffalo i mean that's a really cool charity who doesn't think that's cool that you're helping kids and families with with sick children um or get a room of their dream where they can just they can get away from everything things that they're you know that's their place um, mm -hmm. but how does a business get involved in, in helping you? 
Um, well, this the Northwestern Mutual one was was different in that it was a national sponsorship. Our executive director uh, worked for Northwestern Mutual for a long time, and, and he worked with them, and they did um, ten makeovers in ten cities in ten weeks with oh, us. Wow. So we were one of the first ones to go where they actually came and helped. We worked with them. They they actually helped do some of the pre-work because if you saw that room with the the bed up in the clouds and all that it took a whole lot of work by our um, volunteer associate director who loves to build and also happens to be my neighbor so I was able to go over and check on the progress but a few of their employees came over and helped ahead of time while they were doing construction and stuff and then a whole group of them showed up that day and but we had one each week and they they not only sponsored um, with providing help, but financial help as well. And they did this with 10 chapters around the country. That's Northwestern is a huge company. Yeah. So there's a lot of local companies that want to help that, you know, just can't provide that type of support. And those are the ones that we rely on, the smaller organizations that um, just want to help. And um, our, our sponsorships to do a bedroom makeover, sadly, they've, they've doubled in, in the cost over the past, especially since the pandemic. Um, we work very closely and are, we are so thrilled to be partnered with Ashley Home Store. Ashley Home Store has sponsored, has donated furniture to us, um, I want to say the past seven or eight years, and they will give us whatever we need. Mm -hmm. um, they're just amazing. So I hope everybody knows that when they're considering <laughs> buying furniture, that this is the most generous company I have ever been in, in contact with and had the pleasure of working with. They, um, yeah, they'll donate any furniture. Fortunately, we do make a lot of cool beds of our own. You, you may see from our page mm -hmm. between, you know, uh, Titanic beds and Jeep beds and, you know, the castles, things like that. But the additional furniture, such as uh, dressers and desks and things like that, it's all donated by Ashley Home Store. So, um, but unfortunately, um, we can't get a lot of products, so they haven't been able to help us as much as they would like um, due to, you know, this ever since the pandemic, it's just tough to get stuff. So we have had to buy a lot of things. So anyway, our sponsorships to do a room is $6,000. You know, that, that sounds like a lot, but when you think about all the stuff that goes into it, and by the way, we do take care of the siblings. A lot of the times the siblings don't understand why their brother or sister is getting all the attention and there's no way we're going to leave them out. So we do things for the siblings as well, whether Oops. it's new bedding, a, a TV in their room because their sister got a TV or, you know, whatever we need to do, we make sure that the whole family is taken care of. No kid is going to be sleeping on the floor. No parent is going to be left sleeping on the floor, unless, of course, they want to. Um, but we make sure everybody in the family is is happy, comfortable, and sleeping in a clean, healthy environment when we leave. I, um, I, I just rambled button. on. I hope I even no, answered. You did, you <laughs> did and I hit a wrong button. So I don't know uh, visually if what we're showing right now, but that's okay. Um, you that's know, okay. You got, you got yeah. out of the website. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So right now, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to continue to share as we talk, if you don't mind, I'm going to go sure. back to this Sure. because it, um, there we go. Yeah. All right. So a lot of the, a lot of the companies around Western New York have reached out to me and said that they would, they would love to help both financially and with, and with bodies. And, um, yeah, we can, we can, can always use the help, but a lot of times it's more um, specialized help. Um, we have mural artists and people who sew and people who build things or whatever. But um, you know, if if a company does want to sponsor and they they want to help, there's we'll find stuff for people to do, whether they're crafting things or you know what, we have just cleaned the house. Mom, mm. I I know some families where mom has been at the hospital for 68 days with her child. And, you know, so we went out, we weeded the garden, washed the kitchen floor, you know, do whatever we can do to help because um, they're just, their life isn't just normal as we want to say. So we just want to try and help normalize things and uh, make things comfortable. So businesses or individual families, so they could go to, let's see, what is it? Specialspaces.org. Yes. Find the New York Special chapter. Spaces. There's a phone number there. Um, well, I'll give the phone number. It's 716-320-0565. That's 
320-0565. Right now we're looking at Kinsey's big reveal. I'm not sure what the theme was to her, but you can see how she just wanted a more grown up me. room. <laughs> grown yeah. Up. She okay. had, yeah, it was a little girl's room and she uh -huh. was hoping for, uh, for something a little more mature. So, um, we, we also get kids that, um, yeah, not only do they, they have, not all of them want a theme. They're not right. sure okay. what they want. Okay. And, uh, it's like, that's okay. That group, that picture that you showed there, that was a group of girls from um, Kaylee's Kindness. They have a hangout space. And if if none of our listeners have ever heard of Kaylee's Kindness, it is a wonderful organization put together by Kaylee, who had cancer herself, and uh, found that she just didn't have friends and the right people to talk to when she's going through a challenge like cancer. So she started this organization, and it's it's basically for teen girls all going through the same thing and they go to their clubhouse and they sit around and talk about pretty much how much it sucks to have cancer and uh, what they're going through. They can share their, their feelings and all that stuff. And then they do things together. They, they have, you know, events, they have teas, they have, they go bowling, they get their nails done. They, it's just a wonderful organization for, um, for teen girls. And uh, I, we, we decorated their space and that's, I that's see. where they're sitting there now. Okay. They have yeah. a, they have a clubhouse. And we did that a few years ago. But, you but have a lot of those kids, the more, most of those kids, we've done bad bedroom makeovers these, for. These girls, gotcha. Those girls, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And you, but there's like you, said, there's meat raffles. There's multiple ways to, to get involved. But could a family, just say, hey, listen, I want to help, build or work on your next room remodel. Can can they do that? How does what would they do? How do how do you go about doing something like that? Uh, they they can do that. Like I said, a lot of the um, a lot of the makeovers require specialized help. Mm -hmm. So if uh -huh. it, if it's just a group of people wanting to help, I don't know that we would have a lot of opportunities in the bedroom. You can only mm -hmm. fit so many people in the bedroom. Right. Uh, I see. So I see. Fundraising outside, the, you know, like I said, all of these are are funded through donations and sponsorships. So, uh, doing a fundraiser for us is a is a way to help as well. But um, yeah, there there are a lot of different things. And as you see, I mean, the, the there were so many things on there about the meat raffle because we just had that. But yeah. we have to have fundraisers throughout the year because unfortunately, we don't get all, all of the kids' rooms sponsored. So I that's see. where the additional things like a golf tournament, um, uh, Dominic Schrantz runs a golf tournament every year and he made us the recipient. So um, between the phone, the meat raffle and the the golf tournament, and there's also um, a friend of mine who runs a motor, has a motorcycle ride each year and uh, she donates the money as well. So things like that. That's, that's how other people can get involved if they can't get into a, a bedroom per se. So on, on YouTube, we're looking at Maddie. Can you tell us more about, more about Maddie? Maddie? Yeah, Maddie, um, sadly, she has, was not able to come home and see her room. Mm -hmm. So you can see on the video, she is seeing her bedroom makeover via Zoom or FaceTime, whichever. Um, our team of volunteers went there, did a, a, a fun <laughs> playroom for her. It is her bedroom, but it, the, the bed is the, the, the least, <laughs> the mm. least exciting thing in the room, but she was, she was so excited to see it. And her, mm. her little brother came in and test, you know, tested everything out for her. So she was able to see him do it. Um, this last weekend, she was able to get a day pass from the hospital and come home. And uh, her mother sent us pictures and videos of her seeing her room for the first time. So pretty much a month after we did the makeover, she was able to come home and actually see her room in person. Yeah, that's tough. That's just ah, this. Yeah, this this one, this one's really rough. She's uh, she's a sweetheart. Also, all these kids are. Mm -hmm. And uh, just not to be able to see them or have them come home and see their room when they're so excited about it. That's just heartbreaking. Yeah. And I, I, I go through here. Uh, I don't know how you do it. I mean, because like I'll see, you know, you'll have a post on your Facebook page about one of your, one of the children who's got a heavenly birthday. And it's just like, Oh man. Yeah. That's, that's we don't want to forget. You know, no, nobody mm -hmm. ever wants <laughs> this is Abby. I know you may have been able to see Abby. There was an ad uh, where she spent the day with Josh Allen and oh. I oh, believe yeah. they, they played okay. it. 
yeah. during the Bills game last week. I was yeah. so excited. She is just a joy. Uh -huh. Honest to God, I love talking to her. And she's just, uh, she wanted a superhero room. <laughs> well, she got so one. I can see this. She got a superhero right room. Yeah. This Now, this room was sponsored by West Her. Okay. I'm sorry. Was it West Her? Basil. Oh, my gosh. Please cut that. <laughs> 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 well, I know they're philanthropic at West Her as well, so There's, I'm sure yeah, they're fine. Yeah, well, that's where I, that's where I got that from because he does commercials for them. But yeah, yeah no, it was um, Basil Toyota, Basil Volkswagen, and um, there is a Be a Blessing Buffalo. There were a bunch of organizations that were pulled wow. together by my friend Kimberly Larusa at um, Sweet Buffalo, mm -hmm. and she pulled all these groups together. And there she is, look at her. Yeah. Um, yeah. They came together and sponsored the room financially, as well as um, we had volunteers from Basil that came and actually helped paint the room and um, get it done that day. And it was just, there they are. There's Kimberly. That's Kimberly. And uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, they all showed up and said, you know, what can I do? A few of them said, I've never painted before. I was like, well, you're going to paint now. So <laughs> so, and, uh, so yeah. really if, uh, what we're looking for then is if, if, you know, any small business wants to get involved, that might be a, a great a family. You could do some kind of fundraiser. Any kind of fundraiser would be would be great. Businesses can get involved. You could do a, you know, a day, and you <laughs> yeah. know, get involved in in some capacity. Uh, and but get involved in actually helping build the this room. One, this is my yeah. Error. The yeah, there's Maya. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My um, one of my um associate directors he is um he's a builder he's actually not a builder by trade a lot of our our um, most creative people are not designers by trade okay. um they just like to they have a flair for this yeah. and uh, i guess if you scrolled up on the page and you saw the halloween decorations yeah. that would be one of our teams um john and beth coddington they uh are my neighbors and they put together the most amazing halloween display every year and uh, people come by and they go, well, are you doing this for charity? And they said, well, gosh, we never thought of that. But yeah, special spaces. So sure, why not? So they stuck a sign out there with a QR code and uh, they raised a couple thousand dollars. Nice. And then yeah. Beth's company said, we'll match that. And they matched enough to do an entire bedroom makeover. And John and Beth, are, they had up a team of people who do makeovers, who do incredible makeovers. And um, yeah, so it's just like that. And it is all word of mouth. Uh, people ask questions, they see pictures, they see videos yeah. and they want to get involved. Yeah, I would, I would think I've, I've had a, you know, um, we had, uh, I had a couple people inquire about, I've never heard of, of special spaces. And frankly, I, I had not heard of it before until uh, a client of ours got involved. And then we did a little bit of digging and I'm like, wow, man, yeah, I, I heard a, um, a phrase about us, and it's and it's it is very true, especially when when people are asking about how they can help. And um, we don't do a lot of grants as an organization. We are deep, not wide. Okay. So uh, think about that about that um, that phrase. A lot of companies don't. We don't get grants because we don't help a lot of people. We might end up helping 12, 12 kids a year. Where a lot of people say, well, if, you know, if I gave $6,000 to this organization, I can feed 50 families where you're only going to do bedroom makeovers for 12. Again, we, I, I, we are deep. We, we deeply impact these families, the children's in particular. But um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, working with uh, all of us, our volunteers, we can only help probably 10 to 12 families a year. We try to fit in as many as we possibly can, but, you know, with limited resources and, and funds, that's where we are. And fortunately we don't have that many more kids on our list for the year. You know, I, I wish news, we right? didn't exactly, exactly. Yeah. I love that face. Look at this guy. <laughs> that when you came uh, you up to, on, it's Connor. Yeah. <laughs> Go to their Facebook page and, and, and scroll down to July 17th <laughs> and tell me that this doesn't connect with you. His, his, his name's Connor. Yeah. And, and yeah. They got Connor a photo in of another him. superhero room. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can see it. You can see a photo of him walking into his brand new room designed like a superhero i mean that's a great it is that. that was that i took that from my video that's yeah. my favorite part of the job i get to be in the room and take the video of the kids seeing oh, their yeah. room for the first time and uh it's it's just wonderful wonderful thank 
can't, uh, can't describe it in any other way. <laughs> this is uh, Colt. That's Checking Colt. His yeah. Room. Sadly, he had to have a mask on so we couldn't see that squeal, but you can yeah. see it in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, it's it's just so they have. Do they have? They just know what the theme's going to be. Do they have any idea? Yeah, yeah. We I, I get the kids referred to us either um, by Roswell Children's Hospital, um, okay, or families. You can you can refer a child anywhere and uh, or from anywhere as long as mm -hmm. they're between the ages of two and nineteen. Okay, and they are currently going through a cancer. Uh, you know, they can't have cancer three when they were three and now they're, you know, 16 and they're right. been better for whatever. And right. They have to be, you know, currently being treated for cancer. Anyway, as long as they, uh, they meet that criteria, they are, we're, we're going to do it. And I, uh, sorry, I lost, <laughs> I lost where I was going with it. Well, I, but, I'm, uh, yeah. it this one is Liam. This is Liam. So yeah. Liam obviously the wanted Mandalorian. A, uh, yeah, he wanted a, again, if you're listening, you go to their Facebook page, scroll down to May 22nd of 2022, and you'll see, I mean, you guys went all out. So this is a Star oh. Wars one. Yep. Yeah. Again, have... this is John and Beth Cottington put this together. They had the stormtroopers show up and uh, they guided him and took him up to his room. And <laughs> it's funny. I was, I was very intimidated. The kids, they thought it was just pretty cool. Yeah. Who so the stormtroopers brought him up to his room. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it's where um, they met the Mandalorian, who was also who was in his room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know when we had. Uh, well, this oh, is yeah, this there is he is. The, yeah, there's is. meeting the Mandalorian. Is that his room? That's his bedroom. That's his bed. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's Isn't not, that amazing? It, it's, it's the stuff they come up with is just. So you're not seeing this if you're listening, but it's again, go down to May 22nd on the special spaces, Buffalo Facebook page. So what, so it's like, uh, his bed is, what is that? I, it's some kind of it's spaceship. A spaceship. That is incredible. Yeah. They've got blinking it's, it's lights. Just... Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm working have, gears yeah. and buttons and underneath there's all kinds of lights and you know, yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, I am not a Star Wars fan. Yeah. I, I okay. know I, <laughs> I have, I have my, my son would be horrified to, <laughs> to hear that, but um, yeah. So I don't, I didn't know what a lot of this stuff was, but I sure learned a lot that day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This, you guys went all out for this guy, which is really cool. When I, I'm, I'm going to see Maya. Maya, yeah, I liked hers. Was an under like, was it called under the sea? Yeah, under the, under sea. the sea. Yeah. You, again, scroll down to May seven, and you'll see cute little Maya there. Yeah, um, yeah we go. We meet the kids. Oh, that's where I was going with that. I, mm -hmm. I totally forgot. Um, we meet the kids. We find out what it is that they like, and we ask them questions. You know, what's their what's their favorite TV show or their favorite video game? Or because a lot of them don't have a theme, but but just by talking to them for a while, we figure out what they like um what their favorite color is obviously and you know do they like to read versus play video games and things like that and and then our design team they they go off and they take about four to six weeks and come up with these these wild ideas that definitely thinking outside the box for sure so that's cool and, so it's really an interview process you, you meet the child absolutely. And, and then and then it goes into a, a design process so but the child doesn't see it until they don't know they, yeah yeah don't. and right right and a lot like i said sometimes it's it's a month or two since we go back and you know they've already forgotten or mm -hmm. they and the designer will always say you know well if you think of anything else after we leave free to give me a call well we've had some kids that'll <laughs> text them and email them and call them mm -hmm. and go oh you know what i want this or i want that and that's okay we'll try and figure out how to incorporate everything you thought and uh, my favorite, my favorite story when it comes to that is um, Lucas. Um, we met, I met Lucas, uh, it's got to be five years ago now, um, or longer. Anyway, he had just had a, um, a bone marrow transplant. And once before they come home, it's got, they got to be out of the home a hundred days or they, they go to the Ronald McDonald house and stay there for a certain amount of time before they can come home. So I went there to meet him and um, I interviewed him there and he told me that he liked Elvis. And I thought, oh, a 12 year old boy likes Elvis. He said, Oh, I love to sing. I love to play the guitar. And I, I just love Elvis music. I said, Oh, okay. That's, that's good. You know, anything else? He said, well, there's one other thing I like, but I don't want to tell you because my mother said they don't go together. So she told me not to tell you. I said, well, what is it? He goes, well, I like wrestling. 
wrestling, you know, yeah, like WWE wrestling. He said, yeah, I like that too. I said, okay, well, don't worry about it. Your mother's never met us. So he got a wrestling Elvis room. <laughs> it's on our Facebook page. His bed looks like a wrestling ring with the ropes and everything. And on the other side, it uh, looks like a um, an arena with the sign, you know, and for uh Elvis is taking care of business arena or something. Anyway, there's Elvis on the wall and there's wrestling in there. And that's the biggest, that was the oddest combo that came together, but he absolutely loved it. And it was perfect for him. And uh, like I said, whatever the kids want. Do you remember how long ago that was? Because I could give direction to people to find that. Yeah, that I, I that saw it. You, you did scroll past it. Oh, no, so no, it's in it 2022? Well, I, I repost the pictures, like I said, when the kid oh, has, it's their makeover anniversary. anniversary or their birthday, things like that. Okay. So I did see it on the page. There was a, the, the wrestling Elvis room. It's a green room with a, uh, we have an amazing mural artist that works with us. And anytime I tell him if I need a superhero, he'll build, he'll paint me a life-size uh, dinosaur or a life-size Batman or Superman or Spider-Man. And this one, he did a life-size Elvis for me and showed up at my house. <laughs> and then Elvis is in your house. <laughs> so then I, I can't, I'm, I'm scrolling now, but, um, you, so, you're not sharing it. So yeah. Uh, you know. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, so if I find it, I'll, I'll share. So what about someone with, you mentioned your designer. So some, what if someone has a special skill set then? Should, do you need people? I mean, someone's a great carpenter. Or... Yeah, yeah. We can always use, uh, like I said, we have a bunch of mural artists. And people find me just from social media. Facebook, I've had, um, like I mentioned, Mike, who who does a lot of our superheroes. He just saw what we do on Facebook, reached out and said, you know, I, I paint murals. I, I can help you. I would love to. <laughs> and uh, then I post it and more people see it. And so now we've got a list of people who can paint, uh, who like to build construction. You know, if they can build beds, we build cabins. Like I said, we've built a couple of Jeeps, um, castles. One, uh, John and Beth did a Titanic room. We had a little guy who liked the Titanic. So they put a Titanic in his room two years ago. <laughs> um yeah so people with skills like that i mean obviously it, we need people who could just roll paint i i don't have any of those talents my only talent is being able to find these talented people that can help us so um again sewers uh, a lot of times we'll sew um, custom window treatments um things like that sewing painting building fundraising that's exactly. what makes us, that, that, well, that's what keeps us going. I would say you also have a talent of a skill set or you have in, inside you empathy and, and, and a, a need to, uh, to give back and to, to help families and, and these kids. Cause that's, it's not even, it's not, even, it's not imaginable to go through what the families are going through. And it's great that you're, what you're doing for the kids but it's really for the parents too. It's for the whole family. Oh yeah. Because yeah. that is right. I'm sure you've noticed that. Oh, definitely. Biggest thing is um, most of the kids, when we meet them for the first time, they're either sleeping in their parents' bed or their parents are sleeping with them. They're scared. Um, yeah. We had one little guy who said he couldn't sleep in his bedroom alone. He was afraid he was going to die. That just brought me to tears. And um, so we uh, we made him a super cool Lego room. And he said, see you, mom. And I slept in his Lego bed every night after that. So, um, yeah, the 100 percent of our kids are sleeping in their own bed. <laughs> a lot of times mom and dads do want to sleep in their bed afterwards just because it's a cool room. But um, if they need to if parents need to be in the room with them, we we take that into consideration and either, you know, make a trundle bed or um you know give them a queen size bed so they can fit things like that but it's generally a place so that that child feels comfortable sleeping in their own room by themselves again and not have to you know share the bed unless they want to well i could say i appreciate you i appreciate um all the volunteers that work with you I, special spaces the 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 national and as well as special spaces the the local buffalo chapter um, so again, it is specialspaces.org. I encourage you, if you're in Western New York, 
to go to the Special Spaces Buffalo Facebook page. They've done a great job with it. Uh, I'll tell you this, you will get emotionally connected to it immediately uh, if you're a human being. If you're not a human, I guess you won't be. But you, if you're a human, you're going to connect with this organization just by going to their Facebook page. You're going to have an appreciation for what they do uh, and, and of course, appreciation uh, for the parents and, and for the, uh, the children. So, again, it's Special Spaces, uh, but go to the Special Spaces Facebook page. Uh, if you want to connect uh, through a phone, give Lynn a call. Uh, Lynn Wall is the chapter director of uh, Special Spaces of Buffalo. You can reach the organization at 716-320-0565 at 716-320-0565. At the time of this recording, it's it's uh, just before Christmas 2022. So uh, it would be a great uh, great holiday gift if, if you still have giving in you to go ahead and contact Special Spaces of Buffalo. So Lynn Wall, thanks for what you do. And thanks for taking the time to tell us uh, about the organization and and going through different examples of, of and your experiences and telling us your story as well. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Well, that's it for uh, this edition of, of Sidewalk Talk. Um, if you have a story that you think needs to be told, you could always go onto our website, uh, at shovelthesidewalk.com. And we have a, a section you can just fill it out and, and we'll get to you to tell you, uh, tell you, uh, or those out there, uh, about your story. So again, I thank you, Lynn Wall. Thanks for a lot watching. Thanks for listening. I'm Steve Fortunato, and this has been Sidewalk Talk.